hey guys, here are some questions on how to work out current and potential difference. Now I've combined these to make them a little bit trickier. Um, these are quite hard, so if you are struggling, you can take a step backwards and have a look at some of my explanation videos. So here we have 2 volts, 0.5 volts, we know they need to add up to 2, so this one here has to be 1.5 volts. Here we have 4 volts, 2 volts, we know they need to add up to 4, so that one there must be 2. Here we have 0.5 volts, we know they are all the same in a series circuit, so that one there must be 0.5 as well. Here we have 0.9 volts, now we know they are all the same and it does not matter where they are located. So they are all 0.9 amps. Here we have 0.5 volts, now these are going to add. So this has been 0.25 and this one has been 0.25, we are assuming they are equal. Now if this one is 2 amps, we know that it's going to be the same, so this one has to be 2 amps. We know they have to add together, so this one here is going to be 4 amps. 2 volts. Now we know these are all going to be the same when they're in parallel, so that is 2 volts and that is 2 volts. Here we know they're going to be the same, 4 amps, 4 volts, volts, oh dear, volts. And that needs to be 4 volts. Slightly more complicated one now, there are several to work out. So if we look at um, the voltage first of all, each one needs to be 3 volts. And um, because they all need to be the same. So this one here needs to be the same, and these two down here need to add up to be 3 volts. Which makes that 1.5 volts, and that one 1.5 volts. Now if this here is 9 amps, we are assuming these are the same. So this one here will be 9 amps, we need to add them together to make the one at the top. That is going to be 18 amps. Okay, here we go. Um, the voltage is all going to be the same, so if that is 8 volts, that one is 8 volts, and that one is 8 volts. And then the current is going to be split, so that one there is going to be 5 amps, and that one is going to be 5 amps. <laughs> 